Today's episode is sponsored by Squarespace. <laughs> Welcome to Chopstick Travel. I'm Luke Martin and today I'm in the jungles of Northern Thailand. I'm about a two hour drive outside of Chiang Mai near to Qingdao and I've come to this little village in the mountains. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm surrounded by the rainforest and I just woke up at a homestay and my plan today is to meet up with one of the locals who's gonna cook me some traditional Northern Thai food, including the famous Sai Wu, the Northern Thai sausage. It's beautiful. I'm just uh, having my morning cup of coffee. The village life here is just so cool. There's chickens all over the place. It's gonna be a great day, so make sure you stay tuned until the end. Let's go eat some Northern Thai food. The homestay is perched on this really steep cliff and it's got tea all growing up the cliff side and then she's also got some strawberries right here which she said I could actually have one. Strawberry breakfast. Mm. Oh my God. Really sweet. So the homestay has prepared a little bit of congee for breakfast. It looks like there's some chicken in there. It looks like carrots, some greens, and this is perfect for the weather up here. It's nice and cool this morning. Mm. Yeah, yeah, some fuel for the day. So it was 600 baht for the night here at this homestay and she gave me breakfast and dinner last night. And there was a big storm last night, thunderstorm, so everything's quite wet. And this is a really cool village to be honest. I don't know the name of it though, but I'm just heading down the street to uh, meet with a man who's gonna be cooking me uh, a couple different dishes today. So this is the restaurant here, such a cool looking place, made out of bamboo, completely out of bamboo. And you can see right here, this is all the bamboo that he's used to build the restaurant. And then there's a river that runs right in front of it. It's such a tropical, beautiful setting. And we're gonna head into the jungle and he's gonna actually grab some of the ingredients for uh, some of the food that he's gonna cook today in the jungle, so let's go. Okay, so we're really out here in the rainforest and he just cut down a banana tree. The trunk of the banana tree is actually edible. He peeled away layer by layer of the banana tree until it became this really rich white color and that's the part that's edible. And wow, that was pretty intense. He dropped the whole tree and then just chopped it up. It only took him a matter of seconds. So this is it right here. It was much larger, the trunk, but this is just like the heart of the trunk, the very center of it.
Okay. Okay. Look at that, and it's super juicy too. There we go. So you only eat the very center part, I guess. Like this much, or keep going? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So just the center part. So that banana tree is going to be used in a soup. But first, she's preparing sai wu, which is a northern Thailand sausage, very famous food here in northern Thailand. So she's grinding a bunch of different ingredients in a mortar and pestle. So she has uh, lemongrass, uh, kaffir lime leaves, chilies, shallots, garlic, turmeric, and that's all going to be mixed in with pork and then stuffed inside of the intestine to make the sai wu sausage. So the pork has been mixed with all of the spices and herbs for the sai ua, and I love how they are stuffing it. It's really like a MacGyver style. She just uses the top part of a plastic bottle that's been cut and then tie it onto the intestine with a little string and then just stuff that pork mixture into the intestine to make that sausage. Huh. Wait. Oh. Sai Ua is finished, it's on the grill. They just tied off the intestine with a little piece of bamboo and then uh, put it on the uh, charcoal grill. So we've got several dishes on the go at once. He's also got some catfish that he's gonna be preparing traditional Northern Thai style. So he just gutted and cleaned the catfish and he scored them a couple times and then rubbed them with salt and now he just skewered them and he's gonna smoke them on this fire behind me here. Traditional style catfish, smoked catfish in the jungle. So he used a piece of bamboo that's split in half to pin the uh, catfish between and then he's leaned them up against this charcoal. Like I said, it's kind of smoking but also grilling at the same time and just salt in there. It's getting nice and crispy. Wow, look at all that oil in there. This place is so far removed from the tourist hotspots of Thailand in Phuket or uh, Bangkok. I love it. I love to see that it's still traditional, as traditional as it gets and authentic here in Thailand, despite being such a popular tourist destination. They do actually have a homestay here too, so you can come and stay here overnight. Um, I'll put some information down in the description box so you can find this place. It's about a two hour drive from Chiang Mai. <laughs> so I'm sitting with grandpa here. He, he's 73 years old, you could never tell. And uh, we definitely can't communicate, but uh, we're getting along nicely. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So the banana tree has been cut into very small pieces and she's using similar ingredients to the sai wu for this soup. So besides the banana tree, she's also got kaffir lime leaves, um, she's got turmeric, ginger, garlic, lemongrass, uh, shrimp paste, chilies of course, and then there's going to be some chicken in there too. You can see the smoke from the sai ua. Everything's starting to smell really good here. She just finished pounding all of those ingredients in the mortar and pestle and then heated up a little bit of oil and then added that paste to the oil. And once it hits that hot oil, you can just smell the aroma is absolutely incredible. That Thai uh, spice and herbal smell is just to die for. And then she adds a little bit of water and then she's going to put the uh, banana tree in there and that's the soup. This is pretty cool. I've never seen this before. She just skewered a couple dried chilies and now she's roasting them uh, to include in the nam prik, the dipping sauce that she's going to make next. That's really interesting. So it, it brings out the aroma of the chili, the smoky chili flavor. 
this just keeps getting better and better. He just brought out some wild mushrooms that he's steaming now on the charcoal, and that's gonna be what I dip in the nam prick. The nam prick is pretty simple. She put the roasted chilies, quite a bit of galangal, and then garlic, and then some salt, and it's just a raw uh, dipping sauce that you eat with uh, different vegetables. He's steaming the uh, wild mushrooms now, and I'm getting hungry. Everything's just about finished, I think. So the grandfather has set the table for me. They just laid out the banana leaves and uh, some nice flowers. It's beautiful here. Everything natural, the, even the house is just built out of bamboo. I love the atmosphere, the vibe here. It's just so peaceful. Everything is finished being prepared. They're just doing the final touches, cooking the sayu a little bit more. I've just come down to the river. There was quite a lot of rain last night, so the water's a little bit brown, but it's really cold. Oh yeah, that is refreshing because it gets quite hot here in the jungle, as you can imagine. And I just love the setting here. Uh, the grandfather was explaining um, that he's lived here his entire life. His ancestors have lived here. There used to be no road uh, just 60 years ago. So in his lifetime, there was no road. They were completely cut off from the outside world and they retain the traditions of cooking Northern Thai food out here while living a very simple, humble lifestyle. I love it. I love seeing this stuff. Lunch is served and I am hungry. This looks so beautiful. The presentation is just incredible. So let me introduce what we've got. The first one is the nam prick, this uh, roasted chili dip with the wild mushrooms and some of that banana as well. Back here, I've got the smoked catfish still on the skewer and those look super juicy. This is the famous saiwa, the uh, Northern Thai sausage. And my mouth is watering just looking at that. I can smell the lemongrass in there. And then this is the soup with that banana tree trunk that we cut down earlier. That looks really good as well. There's chicken in there, all kinds of spices. And it's all served on this nice banana leaf. So let's dig in. I'm gonna try the saiwa first and just check out this fork and spoon. It's so cool. Oh man, it's nice and crispy on the outside. Mm. Oh my God. That is amazing. Wow, super juicy. You can taste that lemongrass. It starts off a little bit sweet, but then as you chew it, you get the savoriness, you get the spiciness and the smokiness, and that lemongrass is the dominant flavor. That is an amazing sausage. Wow. Next up, I'm gonna try the nam ka, and I'm gonna eat it with some of this raw banana. Look at it, it's got like this stringiness. Look at that, it's almost like a spider web. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but that is interesting. And this is like a dry, Nam prick, so let me get some there. Mm, oh wow. That is spicy. Those roasted chilies taste so good, but that is super spicy. The banana is really juicy. Just kind of popped in my mouth. I was surprised there by how much juice is in there. There's a lot of water in that trunk. It's got a really unique floral flavor from that galangal that's in there as well. Let's try one of the mushrooms. Steamed wild jungle mushroom. Nampric. Now I am probably supposed to be eating this with the rice, but I just want to taste it with the camera. That tastes incredible. It's really hard to explain, but the galangal, it must be the galangal, has a really floral flavor. Wow, that's really, really good. All right, smoked grilled catfish. Next, I'm just gonna try it by itself, but you can eat this with the numb prick as well. Mm. Really tender meat, soft and smoky, and 
Not a whole lot of flavor there, just that salt. I really think it's better to eat it with the nambrik. So I've got some rice here, and what I love is they use the banana tree for everything here. He even cut it into this perfect circle to uh, make it nice and fresh for my plate of rice. Some rice there, and then over here, I've got that banana trunk soup with some chicken. Put it on my rice like this. Get an extra bit of the soup there. Oh man, my mouth is watering. That looks really good. Let's try. Mm. Mm -hmm. You can taste that kaffir lime leaf in there for sure and it's quite spicy as well. And I love that banana tree. It's such a unique uh, ingredient, but it kind of just reminds me of like celery. Like it's really like soft once it's been cooked and almost like nothing. But uh, I like it better with the nam prick than in the soup. Okay, I want to try some more of this catfish this time with the nam prick. So grab some of that meat. Oh, there we go. And a little bit of this nam prick, which is such a unique flavor. I've never tasted anything quite like this. I don't know if it's just the galango or the smoky chilies, but it's just combined such a good flavor. Mm. Mm. That is so good. There's big pieces of rock salt in there. So you kind of crunch down on one, it bursts with saltiness. And then with the catfish, it goes so well because that catfish is a very simple flavor. That nam prick is out of this world good. Check this out, this is pretty cool. He just gave me a coconut cup. So everything natural here, um, very traditional to have with a not so traditional uh, Coca-Cola. <laughs> It's gonna go good with the sayu, I think. <laughs> that is pretty funny. Wow. <laughs> this is such a cool place, and they are so friendly, especially Grandpa. And this sayu is just extraordinarily good. The kaffir lime leaf and the lemon in there, the lemongrass. Oh my god. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Wow, what a meal. You know, I visit a lot of places like this around the world and sometimes uh, the setting is really cool, the people are really friendly, and then they prepare the food and it's just okay, it's simple, but it's amazing because the experience is amazing. But today, the experience was amazing and the food was amazing. Everything I tasted was incredible and that's Thailand for you. They really uh, know how to cook food here. Like, wow, it's seriously impressive. That Sai Ua was incredible and that Nam Prik with the Galangal, so delicious. This is one of the most beautiful settings I think I've ever filmed a video in. And there are so many butterfly species around here. I don't think I've ever seen so many different colors of butterflies and different types of butterflies. So I'm gonna film a couple of little butterflies and then say goodbye to the family. Okay, have to be, have to be. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Bye bye. All right, guys, that's it for today's episode. What an incredible experience here in the jungles of northern Thailand. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon so you're notified, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Chopstick Travel. Bye. Squarespace is the ultimate online platform for creating your own website. It allows you to connect with your audience and generate revenue through a gated and members only content. You can manage your members and send them email communications and you can also check your audience insights all in one easy to use online platform. Squarespace is a great place to create a community. It has a fully integrated commenting system with replies, likes and shares and you can categorize and schedule your posts too. So go to squarespace.com for your free trial and when you're ready to launch the website, go to squarespace.com dot com slash Luke Martin for 10% off your first website or domain.